All right, so uh, we're going to find our inspiration mind maps here. It looks like this little uh, sort of teal and orange colored guy in the corner here. I'm going to click on it. You can find this in self-service. What you're going to do is uh, you're going to get some free mind maps here. I think you get up to five, it says. So I'm going to click on the guy down here. I'm going to choose what I want here. I'm going to say diagram at the top. There you go. And it's pretty simple. I'm going to type in abstract photography. All right, right here in the middle. If I click on this guy here and I click on the eye up here, I can change the color, the font, all sorts of different stuff in here if I want to. That's my text color right there. I'm going to leave it as it is now. Uh, if I select the circle, uh, I'll be able to change that color eventually. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some things in my map here. Oops, not that guy away. Um, just like so. So if I click on this and I drag my little circle out here and I let go, I'm going to make another circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just labeling maybe the formal properties of, um, of art here, right? So let's put in something like our texture right here, All right, like that. Perfect. I'm going to click on abstract photography again. I'm just going to grab this little circle guy and drag it over here. And I'm going to say, uh, oops, sorry, double tap works. I'm going to write color over here. Again, I'm a little new to this uh, myself. All right, so there we go. So if I click on texture and I click information, see where it says fill, I can fill my textures with, uh, I'll use this weird color here. Um, and then for color over here, maybe I will use uh, instead um, how about blue like that? All right, so abstract is my anchor in the center, and then I have my other ones down here at the sides. And then for texture, I'm going to say to myself, well, what are some texture things that I could think about? Um, I wish it would give me the same color out of there, but I guess it's not going to. Uh, I could say uh, a broom has texture, right? I could click on texture again here, and I could come over here, and I could say, oops, double tap again. I could say pets. Click on texture in the center here, and I could drag this guy out here, and then I could double click over here, and I could say uh, tree. Actually, maybe I'll even start at this. I'm going to say uh, nature like that. All right, and again, if you want to get uh, become a stickler about this here, we can go in and we can change the colors. You just got to remember what color you used, which could probably be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, look, I can do multiples here. Perfect. All right. So then from here, again, I'm going to say so. Uh, in nature, I'm going to say a tree, right? And then, oops, if I can move this guy out here a little bit. And there we go. And then from a tree, and again, you can spread most of what you want here. I'm going to say uh, bark. I'm going to say, uh, oops, double click. I'm going to say leaves. And then over here, I'm going to say um, branches. All right, so this is just for texture here. I'm just sort of working this out. And then again, if I want to go a little darker with these here, I'm going to say fill, and I'm going to go to the next one here just so I can start to highlight these a little bit more like that. All right, so that's essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go here. Um, you know, and you can get as detailed as you want. So that's how that mind map works. You start with a general idea in the center. You start to break this out. So here I'm going to put, um, you know, up here, I might put form. Oops. Form. So as you can see, these are sort of like the generic. Uh, ask me for the text, sorry. Ah, let me go. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, you know, you can see up here. So the first ones immediately outside the circle are just the formal elements of art. Uh, and then once we click on one of those formal elements, we can start to break it down as to what are some ideas that we might have uh, revolving around that uh, formal quality. And then from there, we're going to break that down even smaller. And then if you can break that down even smaller from there, that would be terrific. So the smaller you can get. And again, as always, no right or wrong answers here. We're just trying to brainstorm some ideas so that we're not just turning our camera on whatever we see, the first thing that we see, and we uh, take a shot. But we're going to actually sort of, sort of think this process through. Uh, once you get your mind map all set and everything is all together and you're ready to turn it in, it's a very easy process. You just click the arrow up here and then you're going to save it to your photos like so. Access my photos, sure. I'm going to say OK. So then in my photos, hopefully, let's see. There it is right here. There's my mind map right there. And then I can upload this to the assignment in 
uh, Schoology. All right, that's all you got. Good luck.